show you the process so I go through. First you want to clean up your frogs. I won't show you how I clean up the frogs in the other one. You want to always trim down to the apex of the frog. The true apex. See, frog grows. This frog is not in that good a shape. Your frog grows and then it lays down forward and smashes into the soil. So you want to always trim down and find the true apex of your frog where it meets with the soil. Always trim out your central sulcus. See that? Always get that cleaned out. This frog is very thin, so we're just taking it easy. Very, very thin. Little bit off there. Okay, now see right here? Right here is where the frog and soul blend together. Right here. Right there. Okay. Take off all little tags. You don't want, oh, you want some hard callus frog, but not a ton of it to where your frog is just real congested and smashed and not growing. Like I said, clean out the central sulcus. Clean this, take a little bit off right there. So that that's open. See, that's supposed to be open like that. Okay. Alright, now. What you want. You want to go to Walmart or somewhere and get one of these. Okay? Because what we're going to do. This helps you make straight lines. You want to draw a straight line down the center of the foot. Right here is the center, center of the frog and the center of the apex of the frog. You want to get that right there like that all the way down like so. Then on this side you want to mark your toe right here. So when you Measure your dorsal wall on the other side. You will be in the exact center of the foot. Okay, now from the apex of the frog, you want to mark one and a half inches. Okay, now as you see, she's right there. Okay, now this is why I do this. You're gonna you're gonna draw a line here and a line here at the 90 degrees. So you can put this line here and this line right here and you can draw a straight line across the toe across the toe right here see there because you're gonna take that wall there back to that line right there now the reason it's one and a half inches I'm gonna tell you why okay okay um, from the true apex of the frog three-fourths of an inch coffin bone ends right here. Okay, at an inch is where the sole corium attached to the coffin bone ends and then you need about another half inch for your sole so you have some sole and height in the toe. So that's why I mark it at one and a half inches and if you have a bigger horse it might be one and three-fourths but not much more than what I got here. This is about a 15 and a half hand horse, your average side horse that most people have. And there isn't a lot of difference in toe lengths in these horses. Okay. Now, we're going to mark the heel buttress. I'm going to do it two different ways. Now, what happens is, the reason that you kind of have to uh, do it two different ways, Did I, am I recording, thank goodness? Okay, first of all, let's get this up here.
Okay. Okay, you see these, the corner right back here? Okay, I want that to be ultimately at about, well, on her it's going to be three-fourths of an inch. She's right at three-fourths of an inch on there. I'm going to leave that side. Okay, we're going to, okay, see, this is the exit of your collateral groove. See, this is the collateral groove where it exits right here. Okay, from right there, unless you have a lot of frog skin built up on that, okay, I want that to be three-fourths of an inch to an inch right there. Or, if you measure from the hairline, which is right up here, it is one and three-fourths inches. Because, ultimately, your bulb skin here, from here to here, should be about an inch. Okay, you see that? one and three quarters inch. Your bulb skin is usually when everything's right and things aren't stretched and the foot isn't rotated. This bulb skin is about an inch right here. And then from the exit of the collateral groove to the end of your heel, three-fourths of an inch to an inch. Okay, let's do this side. I'm going to draw straight up to the bulb skin there, to the hairline. See how I did that? Okay. Let's see, where's my three-fourths inch line? It's right here. Okay. Let's just go for three-fourths of an inch. From right here at the exit of the collateral groove, I'm three-fourths inch right here. So that side can come down. This side, I might just barely knock it off a bit, but this side can come down a little bit. Not going to take hardly any off the heel there. Just so you know what that looks like. See that? Again, the bulb skin from here to here is about an inch. Okay? And then from here to here, three-fourths of an inch, what I got there. You see I have some extra wall here. See? So I'm not going to, you know, it's not at an inch, so I can't take it at an inch. And then look at this one here, same thing. From here to here, three-fourths of an inch. That's what we're going to do with her for right now. Okay. Quit. Okay, now we're going to mark the bars. Okay, so now here's where three-fourths of an inch is right here and right here. I'm going to bring this up the end of my ruler right here to where my if she'll hold still I'm going to put this right here. And my bar should go right along the side of here. Again, this is right up to where my heel ends and then at my toe Right there. See it? Okay, now we're going to measure the dorsal wall. I don't always do that anymore, but when you're starting out, you're definitely going to want to because you're going to find that you have long, forward, high pillars right here, sides of the toe. Okay? Okay. So see, now remember I put my mark on here. See it right here? I'm going to follow straight up to the horn tubule. Right there is where the hoof ends. See it's hard here, but right there it gets soft. Okay. We're going to see how long her toe is. Okay, she is at three and a fourth inch right here. Three, three, and one fourth. And you know what? That's kind of where I'm going to leave her because uh, I have been building up toe. I took her down to three inches, but now at, you know I take I I start out at three 
and a half, went down to three and a fourth, got her down to three, got the hoof remodeled, now I'm building her back up to three and a half, uh, to three and one fourth to three and a half. That is, once I get the sole and the walls and everything correct, I'm going to let the sole um, produce to it, it, its thickest, best, most healthy point. Okay, so now you're going to go from here over to here, two inches. Let's see. Over to here, two inches, right there. Okay, I'm going to follow the horn tubule down to there. And I'm going to come over here again. I'm going to go over two inches right here. I'm going to follow the horn tubule down right to there. Now, this is three and a fourth. You want the sides of the toe to be one at least one fourth inch shorter because that is the shape of the internal foot. Okay, so kind of make a line there. Okay, so three inches is right here. See there? Let's do here. Three inches, well, you can put that right there and feel it. Three inches is right here. And this is three. Three and a fourth is right, just right to there. Okay, so ultimately, this is going to have to come around like this. Let's measure this again, just to make sure. Okay, it goes soft right here. Yep, that's just right. Okay, I'm going to kind of bring this subtly around right there. And... I'm going to follow this growth ring around here. You'll see what I do here. Okay. Now, I want you to look at that. Okay, again, three and a fourth from here to here. And again, uh, for a while, I had her down to three here and two and three fourths here while the hoof was coming back together and remodeling. But now... And so you're going to want them on soft ground or you're going to want it some kind of support when you take them that short. But I take them that short when the foot is remodeling because if you have a lot of hoof there, the foot does not move back to where it should. The, the, the sides, uh, you know, where, the, where the, the pillars have gone forward, they're not going to come back. And we want this wall back correctly because it grows down, it's connected to the sole and then they grow down together to the ground, and there's a certain spot they're supposed to be at. Otherwise, your soul will never be right. Okay, now I want you to see the side here. How that's going to come down there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim this foot and make sure I take my pillars down on the side. We'll see how I do here. Okay, what I'm going to do is take my, see how this is straight across the toe here? Take that all the way back to the white line here, where I drew my mark at an inch and a half. Okay, see how I'm starting to get a clean white line? Barely take off a little bit of that sole. Find me a clean white line there. Now again, this fit I've been working on for some time. Okay, now I'm going to take my heels down to there. 
three fourths inch. Never pull back like this. Always take your heels down from the side like so. Okay, now I'm going to take off my pillar here. And this side. Gotta look at the Okay, I'm gonna show you where I'm at so far. You see that? Okay, so see, I'm taking down these sides of the toe. Understand? Okay. Still high. Still high. I want you to see it. See there? This, these feet, the sole, the, the wall grows forward and they will retain sole in the sides there. So you have got to take down that soul. Look here, how I'm starting to get down to clean white line. See there? Let me put it down and look. Getting there. Got a ways to go. On the other side as well. Okay. more to go. A titty tad more. 
Right, yeah. That's pretty good. I'm just almost to my line. That's all down there. Now I want you to look at something. I want you to look at the, I've got a lot of concavity here and I've got a sole ridge right here. In fact, a sole ridge all the way around here. Okay, do you see that? right down at my lines. I can come down a hair here. See how that helps you? Oops. See how that helps you? Okay. Now, I'm going to take this wall back here to the what to my white line right here. I'll show you. I'm gonna come in here again, redraw my line. See there? Okay now I am going to, again, white, I want to have a straight line, so I do a straight toe, let's see, there we go, that way your foot is centered and symmetrical, half this side, half that side. Otherwise, what happens is you'll find yourself putting your toe over here and you're going to tweak your whole hoof capsule. That is what happens to a lot of people. Now, the reason I do what I'm doing now is because wild horses roll that toe from the white line forward. So, that's what we're going to do. So there's no leverage on that dough. Right there. See? It rolls, this rolls here. Okay. Now I'm going to take the hard outer tube. You'll see how it's pigmented. I'm going to take this off. Round that off not to the white line but okay you see the white part of the hoof wall here See how I'm right down to my lines? Oh, 
Okay. Now, I'm going to trim the bars. I could have done that. Stand up. I could have done that, that earlier, but I didn't. Let's see. So, I just want to come along the bar wall here. See, and that's all exfoliatable sole in there. I'm going to kind of clean that up. Clean out your seat of the corn a little bit. Right down the bar wall. Now it has laid over here a little bit, so I had to follow it over. I don't want a lot of exfoliatable sole right in here. Yeah, you want to clean out the seed of the corn here. I'll stand up. would like to find the white line of the bar on this side, if I could. I'm going to round this off. I don't want it to have a sharp edge here on the sole ridge. That is I'm done with that foot. Okay, now I'll spray some of the blue stuff on it. And, uh, frog's better than she's ever had it. I'm just wondering if I need to straighten out this bar here. There we go. Okay, how's that look? Just 
going to barely round off that peel there a little bit. I might, I'll, you know, dress it up a little bit, but that's pretty much it. There we go. Okay. Do you see how? Do you see the concavity? It's the sole ridge that gives the side of the coffin bone. Okay. See the concavity of the foot? See the deep recess of the apex of the frog there? See, that's like that because of the sole ridge, which is around here. <laughs> 